former Detroit Lions receiver and uh, was a receiver and quarterback coach, excuse me, June Jones, says that if the Lions would have hired him, I think right before or after the Bobby Ross era, that Barry Sanders told him he wouldn't have retired. He would have played at least two or three more years because of the run and shoot offense he would have imp uh, implemented in Detroit. It would have been good for Barry. But hey, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. And he was on the Sports Gambling Podcast. And June Jones said he called Barry and said, if I get the job, would you uh, stay in Detroit? And Barry said, I'll stay for th two or three more seasons. And the Lions didn't hire him. Now, he was the Lions receiver quarterback coach, uh, Barry Sanders' rookie year. Uh, he was a protege of Miles Davis, who popularized the run and shoot offense, especially in Detroit. And he ended up coaching SMU. Uh, he ended up coaching Hawaii. And he ended up coaching the Falcons for a few years as well, too. So, um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I don't know if Barry Sanders ever confirmed it. I'm not saying that June Jones is a liar. I don't know what reason he had to lie for. But if Barry Sanders uh, uh, would have confirmed it, then he confirms it, then, you know, Lions made a huge mistake. And maybe the Lions wasn't aware of that. Barry wasn't really a vocal guy. You know what I'm saying? Barry, Barry wasn't going to sit here and, and yell to the top of his lungs and say this. Now, maybe they had the conversation. Barry said, if you hire this guy, that guy, I'll stay. And the Lions hire, you know, whoever they end up hiring. Maybe it'll win different. I don't know how much pull or how much, you know, the Lions valued Barry Sanders' opinion when it came to coaches, which they, they should have valued his opinion. He was one of the, the, he was the best player in franchise history in a lot of people's opinion. And other players like Michael Jordan and, and, and LeBron James, and I'm pretty sure uh, Peyton Manning, you know, has some type of input on some, you know, coaching changes that happen um, on their franchises. And maybe the Lions just didn't get Barry that, you know, that pull. But I would have hired the guy if it meant two or three more years of Barry Sanders. It would have meant two or three more years of revenue and jersey sales for the Lions. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, they saw the relationship with Barry Sanders the same way they saw it with Calvin Johnson. And they saw, they, they I mean, messed up that relationship, saw it with both of them because they both recoup, recoup money. They both got money recouped from them. People forget, a lot of Lions fans turned on Barry Sanders the same way they turned on Calvin. Over, you know, them recouping the signing bonus, whatever it was in Barry's case. But, you know, June Jones probably right. You know, maybe Barry wanted to be part of that offense more than he was part of the offense that he was in because he never reached 16 touchdowns in the season again. When he was under that run and shoot offense, he was, you know, he was he was straight doing crazy. I mean, I'm going to do a new series I got, and it's going to kind of have a direct correlation to this video, ironically, because this video wasn't on uh, my radar until I seen one of the Lions publications post it. But it was some prominent things that happened that haven't happened, that hasn't happened in franchise history under that offense. But the Lions just never put a full team together. And to be honest, they never had the quarterback. Kramer was like one of the more successful quarterbacks, and he fought back and forth with, uh, I think it was like with Andre Weir to start. So, you know, if Barry would have stayed, man, under June Jones, that would have been dope. But the question is what they would have won, but also Barry would have easily broke the rushing record. But it just lets you know, same way Barry went out, same way Calvin went out, they was just tired of losing. They was tired of training and knowing you didn't have a chance to win. And the Lions didn't have any sympathy towards them to let them to let trade them and go elsewhere or get them what they wanted. And even to add insult to injury, they recoup money from them. You feel me? So that's something to look at as well too, man. But uh, yeah, man, June Jones did go on to have a solid career though. He got a lot of different jobs. And recently, he was, a, uh, I think, the head coach of the Houston Roughnecks. Was that in uh, the XFL? I think that had to be the XFL or something like that. So, old man, he's still coaching everywhere. But, you know, we tried to kind of redo the run and shoot offense with Mike Marsh running gun offense, and it didn't really work for us, you know what I'm saying, in Detroit. It worked. But I don't want to say it worked because we didn't win. We didn't, put the t we, didn't put, we didn't put touchdowns up. Even when John Kittner was quarterback and we kept scoring field goals, and it's the same thing. Um, that we going through now. Field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal. So let me know what you guys think, man. 
I put the article link in the description so you can check it out. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got business questions, quite response, your video quest, we gone.